Hello everybody, in this video I want to show you a setup for client server and the client is React. It's a Vit project and this Vit project is using TypeScript and the server is an express server and this server also uh, is using TypeScript. So first I will show you how to invoke it and then we will drill down and see what's inside. Okay, and, and you can see here the structure. This is the client and this is the server. If I want to invoke both the client and the server, I'm doing npm run dev. Okay, you can see here that npm run dev is using concurrently. This is a package and it runs the server and it runs the client. Okay. So you will see here This is the Vit project. Oh, it is already working, so I will stop it. And again, npm run dev will concurrently invoke the server and the client. Okay, so this is this is the server. Server um, this node run the server and this is the client so if I will go to localhost 3000 you will see the client and the client when I click here it access the server and this is from the server and if you want me to show you, prove you this. So let's replace it with a few stars. Okay, so you see here that Nodemon is in uh, is starting uh, the server again. And now if I will access the server, you see that it is changing. So I will just revert it back. And, and you see that I have a connection between the client and the server. Now, let's look inside and see what we have. This is a client that I've created with uh, React. If you want to create a project, you simply do npm init uh, vit latest and choose TypeScript. And this is what I have done, and I have simply changed the app.t6. Let's see what we have here. So uh, I'm using Axios, and I have here a state, and this is my endpoint. Okay, and I have the endpoint here, and I have the endpoint on the server. The server is listening on this endpoint. And I have the server also here. This is this is um, where I tell the client that he should use a proxy. Okay, so we have the this endpoint, the three point. The client is calling it. The server listening on it and the client project proxy also um, is configured for this. Okay, so let's continue with the client. So the client um, access the server with this URL and he gets a response for the server and he put the response inside the state and here we can invoke the function with a button and uh, show it so this is the client and the server is very simple this is an express server and here I can use request and response Okay, because this is TypeScript. 
and I'm sending back this hello and I'm listing on this port which is 5000. So this is the server and the server I need to configure it to work with TypeScript. I don't need to configure the client to work with TypeScript because it's part of the React of the Vit project. But here I need to configure it. So I have to do two things. I have tsconfig and tsconfig it has default which I have changed. I have changed the target to S2020, meaning that the JavaScript that is created from this TypeScript is ES2020. I've changed so source map to true to get um, be able to debug. And I'm using audio so that when I'm building, the build will be on disk, on disk directory. Okay, so if you want to see it, I can go here, CD cd server and here if i look in packet json i can do npm build npm run build and you will see the dist the dist uh, directory okay this is where the typescript is translated to javascript so here i will see the javascript Okay, so this is uh, the dist. Root dir tell um, TypeScript to look only on SRC directory for compiling. All, all the other are default. And this is, I have also changed, if you need to import JSON file, then changing it to true, uh, you will be able to do it. So we've covered the client, we've covered the server, and we've covered the tsconfig and regarding the proxy let's look on the readme file okay so the motivation to set up uh, typescript react vit to work with a server and this is the, uh, the schema. On production, we have React client working with Express, but on development, we have the React client, which is a Vit project. It is working against the development server. This development server need to pass the information to Express, and this is done via proxy, and the proxy is here. Okay, you change the client vit config here okay this is what i have changed so in the setup we need to add this proxy react app is using app slash v1 and this is also used on the server you can choose whatever you like to install it, you need to do npm install on the root directory of the client and the server, and this is important. You need to invoke, you need to install concurrently NTS node globally, and just go to the root and do npm run dev. And I was not able to map slash, okay? I was not able to do here slash, because slash is uh, actually uh, local of 3000 but anything else can be put here so the, the easiest way to use this repository is simply to clone it and then add everything that you like inside thank you